Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the User Bricks channel. Uh, today we are going over a simple yet complicated uh, topic. What I mean by that is that this, you can either have it be a really simple thing, or you can go really complicated with it. This, of course, is replacing the default Minecraft textures uh, through the use of a texture pack. And that texture pack will be placed into your mod so that when anyone puts installs your mod, that the text, default texture pack you put in there will then uh, show and overwrite all of the default textures. As you can see, I have uh, what looks to be a default texture pack, and you can see I'm in 1.12.2. This background is from the 1.13 uh, uh, update. And you can also see that I have edited a few things, like there is uh, what used to be m the name of my mod uh, for a little bit, uh, one update, which is the Adventure Craft uh, thing. But let me show you so that this is not a texture pack that I have on. So let's go to Options, uh, Resource Packs. As you can see, there are no resource packs in here. So this is entirely done through the mod. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's hop into a world and I'll show you uh, some of the other textures you can do. All of the textures that you can see, anything you can do in a texture pack, you can do, and that is a lot of crabs. Oh boy. Let me just do a quick slash kill at E and respawn. There we are. All the crabs are gone. Anyway, so the uh, what my mod uh, currently overrides uh, the default textures. As you can see, these are not the normal 16 by 16. They are 32 by 32. Uh, I also have uh, custom models on some of the blocks, which would be the grass, the leaves. This is not a separate mod. Usually you see this with a mod like uh, Better Grass and Leaves. Uh, or better foliage and this right here is actually just a custom texture pack that I created and yeah I put it on my mod and it overrides the default textures and models automatically so let's get in to how to do that right now so first let's head over to the curse Forge uh, website to download a texture pack to show you that it works. Okay, so here we are on the Curse Forge website. I am in the Minecraft section under texture packs. And for this to work uh, for with mCreator uh, for the 1.12. Uh, point two version of Minecraft, we will want to go to the texture packs and click one point Minecraft 1.12. You can, of course, click earlier versions, but then you may not get certain blocks in the texture packs. Or you could create your own texture packs. There are tons of uh, videos out there showing you how to create texture packs. If you would like me to create a texture pack series, I would be more than willing uh, to do so. So, yes, let's get a 1.12 texture pack. Um, let's try the... Let's try the Faithful uh, texture pack. Uh, this, of course, the newest version is one for 1.13, but it also has the... Uh, 1.12 in here 
yes, right here. So we want to download that. And I will be hopping into a blank uh, mod real quick. And I will show you how to get it all set up. Okay, so here I am in a new workspace that I just opened. Uh, it is currently still uh, setting up the entire workspace. So while it does that, let's get our uh, default texture pack that we just downloaded. Uh, for me, that's in my downloads, and it is the Faithful Texture Pack. Uh, let me open my downloads. So let's open that. And as you can see in here, there will, will be a few things. So to get this uh, ready, what we need to do is we need to go into the assets. And all we need is this Minecraft uh, folder. Uh, you, of course, could bring in all the Realms folder, the Forge folder, the FML folder. Those have different textures for the different uh, things. Like Realms has di different uh, GUI textures for uh, all of the different buttons and on and off and whatnot. And Minecraft is the main... Uh, where all, all of the blocks and items and whatnot is stored. So you can see under textures and all of, there's all the blocks and whatnot. So this is what we'll need and it looks like the console is finished setting up our workspace. So let me show you uh, that the uh, actual uh, textures are the default ones, so let's run uh, Minecraft real quick. Okay, here we are in a new world. You can see that uh, all of the default textures for 1.12 are uh, active. Uh, this will not be the case once we have imported the uh, custom uh, texture pack. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there is just, just the default textures. So let's exit out of this. Uh, you can save and quit to title. That is the world I was in. Uh, so yeah, so we can quit the game. And to actually install the uh, texture pack, uh, we don't need actually to be in mCreator at all. We need to find the uh, the uh, folder that our workspace is kept in. You would have defined that right before you created the workspace, or as you were creating the workspace. Uh, for me, uh, let me drag this down so you can see. Uh, it is in uh, my documents, uh, MC workspaces, and then default texture override. Uh, that is where it is on my computer. I have conveniently pulled up uh, MC workspaces over here. Uh, you may not see the actual name of the uh, workspace, but it's up there. Uh, and it would be the default texture override. So once you're in here, you need to go, let's see, let me just quickly make sure that I'm not, ah, okay. So to actually be able to get all of this uh, up and running, we need to quickly, wait, let's see, it would be actually be in source main, resources, assets. Okay, in here, this is where you need to be. You need to be 
in going into source, uh, main, resources, and then assets. Uh, as you can see, the last one, assets, that's the same folder uh, from uh, our texture pack, assets. So let's pull in the entirety of the uh, uh, faithful uh, texture pack for 1.12 into our uh, our mod uh, assets folder. All of this, pretty much, you can do whatever you want. Sorry about that. Uh, for some reason, it cut out my uh, video recorder, so I shall go uh, take you through what we did, what, well, what I tried to show you and didn't realize it cut out. Uh, so yeah, what I was going to say in that last clip was that you can do anything that you want as, uh, that you can do in texture packs. You can even uh, put in the, uh, override uh, the files, uh, texture files of other mods uh, as long as your uh, mod is loaded. After uh, there, the other mods, uh, I'm not sure, entirely sure how you would do that, uh, so I'd suggest just sticking with the default uh, f uh, texture files, or use just a texture pack uh, as usual. So, now that we have these installed, uh, what you can do is you can delete the, uh, the folder that you downloaded. Uh, I already did this in the clip that got deleted, uh, or just disappeared. Uh, so, yeah. So we can get out of this, and we can uh, boot up Minecraft to uh, test the textures. Okay, so now that we are in Minecraft, you can actually already see the uh, texture pack working. It is the faithful texture pack, as mentioned before. The Minecraft sign is more detailed, the words are more detailed, uh, the Java edition is more detailed, the buttons are more detailed. Uh, if we go into single player into the world from before, uh, you can you will see those textures. You can also see the uh, dirt texture behind is also changed by the uh, texture pack. Uh, all of these things you can do by searching up on YouTube uh, how to make a texture pack and you will find a ton of tutorials about how to do so for uh, any uh, texture pack version. If you didn't know, the 1.13 and above are on one style of texture pack, and then I believe it is 1.8 to 1.12 it is another style, and then before that is yet another style of texture pack. So you want to make sure you are making the right style of texture pack, or it may not work. And as you can see, the 32 by 32 texture packs of the faithful uh, texture pack is working. Everything is fine and dandy. Uh, as you I, as you can see, if we go into options resource packs, uh, there is nothing in here. So it is definitely from the mod that is installed. Actually, we can check that the mod is installed in the mod options. Uh, you can see there's just normal Minecraft, there's the uh, something forge imported, another forge, another forge, and then our default texture override uh, mod. Uh, you can, you'll can you probably of course be putting this on your own mod, so that'll be different, but yes, that is just the mod uh, overriding all of the default Minecraft textures. So, I have, well, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, short video. Uh, 
please like the video and comment. Uh, yeah, and subscribe to get notified when the uh, next videos that I post come out. And click the notifications bell to uh, further let yourself get notified. So, yeah, I shall see you next time. This has been the user of Bricks.